Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Dr. Henderson, how are you? I'm great, thank you. All right, we're going to go live. You were supposed to be live when you came on, but everybody thinks it's Monday at my studio, but here we go. <laughs> hey, Dallas, thanks so much for staying with me. I've got Dr. Lindsay Henderson. She's a therapist who sees patients via virtual video on Live Health Online. Dr. Henderson, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You know, this is National Stress Month. We got a month for everything. So this is National Stress Month. I'm going to try not to be stressed out. But you got some tips to combat, combat daily stress. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to start out by mentioning that the American Medical Association has found that stress is the root cause of over 60% of all human illness and disease. So this is why we have a whole month dedicated to it. And one of the, you know, some of the tips I like to share with the patients that I work with through Life Health Online Psychology are to try and, number one, try and stick to your normal routine as much as possible. So continuing to get the, a good sleep and eating regular meals will help give your mind and your body a fighting chance to manage the stress. Number two, uh, engage your body as a tool. When you're finding yourself feeling particularly overwhelmed, take a few minutes to pause, take some deep breaths, uh, do some stretching, take a quick walk. This can immediately counter the effects of stress by lowering your blood pressure and slowing down your heart rate. Number three, use your mind as a tool. So find healthy ways to distract yourself and start training your mind to turn off at the end of the day. You know, watch some mindless television that you really enjoy or read a book or magazine that's purely for pleasure at, before bed. You had said watch something on television, and I'm a big advocate that television does have a variety of purposes. It's not as bad as we all say. But what about just watching comedy, things that make you laugh? I found adding laughter to that, it is really good. You're dead on exactly right that laughter is really important and it does wonders for our, for our bodies physiologically when we are feeling stressed. So whether that's watching something that's funny online or, or you know on television or really continuing to make time for your friends that you can or your family that you enjoy um, you know being with and having fun together and laughing with. Your statistics say 75 to 90 percent of doctors' visits are for stress-related ailments and complaints. Do we know it's stress do, or we just come in, oh, I don't feel good? Do we know that stress is the underlying cause? Well, you know, so stress we know is a common and um, kind of a consistent underlying cause of lots of things for all of us, really. Um, and, and sometimes it's, it's easy to manage. It's a part of normal life. And there is actually, you know, stress isn't always a bad thing. Um, but it can compound and build up to, um, you know, really have a, play a kind of a toll on our physical health as well. What are some other tips that help us combat stress? And when I say that, you know, uh, meditation, uh, quiet time, prayer, are those factors in stress? Yes, yeah, so a lot of my patients find um, that meditation and mindfulness can be helpful in learning to quiet your mind and, and manage stress. Uh, you know, sometimes it's really difficult to uh, actually figure this all out on your own, and it might uh, be beneficial to work with a professional like myself uh, to learn to manage stress better. A, a professional can help um, d build a more uh, unique and personalized detailed plan that brings in our professional expertise. 
Uh, a therapist can also hold you accountable because these are really hard changes to make on your own and you might need somebody to support you along the way, almost like a coach. The good news is that nowadays technology is making it uh, much easier for people to access professional uh, therapy through uh, online, through apps like Life Health Online. Yes, you're doing it uh, virtually for us. Tell me a little bit how that works. Is it like Skype? So Live Health Online is a telehealth app that allows patients to connect face-to-face -face, uh, with a licensed therapist or psychologist using the video in their smartphone, their tablet, or computer with a webcam. It's really easy to use, it's convenient, and it's private. And it allows patients to access the, health, the help that they need from home, work, or even on the go, really wherever you feel most comfortable and wherever it fits best into your already really busy lives. I found that stress ages you, so I'm not going to be signing up because that, that was enough for me. <laughs> I'm aging enough on my own, right? That's but <laughs> if somebody wanted to do this, because I think it's a great idea, how do they get connected? So check us out on livehealthonline.com or uh, download the app. It's a free app from the App Store, Live Health Online. Dr. Lindsay Henderson, you've made it sound so wonderful. I think my audience is impressed, and hopefully you guys use this tool because, as I said, I'm not a doctor, but I know stress ages you, and it makes you sick. Dr. Lindsay Henderson, thanks for talking about stress and helping people have some answers. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome.